I'm looking at the MySQL ER diagram model for our database and what I'm going to create now is a table to store whenever a newsletter is sent and the way our database will be designed is that we'll always send a newsletter to a specific interest group so essentially we're going to create a many-to-many -many relationship between the interests table and the newsletters table uh, very similar to our intersection table subscriber interest which ties subscribers to interests. so to get started let's choose our new table tool and put a new table in our model and if we double click on that we'll bring up the table editor and let's call this table newsletters underscore sent and we'll leave the engine as NODB and we are going to create a column as a timestamp similar to what we did with our newsletters uh, compose or uh, insert uh, into newsletters which we created a timestamp with a default value of now we'll do the same thing here we'll say um, sent date and a timestamp data type is what we'll use to create that timestamp it won't be a primary key but it'll have a default value of now okay so that's one column and now our other two columns are going to be identifying relationships one to many identifying relationships between the newsletters table and uh, the newsletter sent table as well as the interest table so let's create our let's choose our one to many identifying relationship tool click on our table first and then the subject our primary key in the newsletters table and that will create that relationship automatically. We're next going to choose the tool again and click on that table again. And then in the interest ID, primary key of the interests table. So we have those two one to many relationships. In other words, we have newsletters can be sent to one or more, one or more times. And a newsletter can be sent to a specific interest group and an interest group can receive one or more newsletters and a newsletter can only be sent at one point in time to a specific one newsletter can be sent at one point in time so our table is essentially defined in our data model now and we could save our data model and we can also generate that to actually create the table in our database we could do that a couple of ways we can go to database and forward engineer but an even simpler way to do that is to right click on the table and copy sql to clipboard and that sql will be the sql that will create the table and then we're going to go over to our actual database connection and in the scratch pad we'll go create we'll paste that SQL statement and when we enter it or execute it and then go back to our overview you can see that we now have a newsletters sent table there's no data in it at this point but we've engineered our table directly from the data model into our database